This is an experiment that I've been running for the last seven to ten days. I lost track of it. It's been more than a week. Um, there was a question came up on another channel about how to uh, how to carry uh, alcohol, denatured alcohol, uh, to use in your uh, 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 to use in your your stove because it's really these are these are nice bottles to carry eight ounces of, of fuel around with you but but they you put them inside of a regular portable cook pot and they just they it, it just doesn't work so he uh, he ran through. He does uh, some really good, really good tests on alcohol stoves and um, uh, portable cookware. So I um, um, started thinking, and these bottles here are a really convenient size. They're made out of plastic. They hold uh, 1.62 fluid ounces when they're full. But this is completely full and unopened, and uh, there's some shake room inside there. But completely full up, I'm I'm thinking that they'll hold um, about one and three quarter ounces, 1.75. This one has been full for um, seven to ten days, and I've stored it flat on its side. Um, to make sh to test to test the seal inside here, this top part of this bottle comes off, and there's also a seal. There's also a seal inside here. It's a diaphragm, so that you can you can squeeze the bottle, and it'll send it'll send liquid out. As soon as you quit, the diaphragm closes. So I wanted to test that seal plus the plus the seal on the main bottle. So I laid them flat on the on the ground. This has been uh, ten days, and um, there was a little bit of an air bubble at the top when I when I closed it up. And this is still this still has everything in it that uh, that it started with. The bottle itself, um, I wanted to test for. A um, chemical reaction. Alcohol dissolves some plastics, so I um, figured I'd fill it up and give it a, give it a try. It's uh, it's still working. It's holding everything that it needs to. Um, and the only other test to do is to uh, is to open up the lid. Turn it upside down. You should be able to see that it's not uh, it's not leaking. Squeeze it. Squeeze it. Comes out. Stop squeezing it, and it stops. You let up on it completely, and it'll suck air in for uh, um, for venting purposes. But um, yeah, this is. Um, this is working pretty good. I'm not entirely sure how much um, how much one of these stoves hold. I'm thinking that it's a little over two ounces. So one of these bottles um, should give you a pretty good a pretty good refill if you start with the stove full. Um, one of these should um, should do you for a complete refill. So that's what I found out about that. Oh, to uh, to tell you more about it, these things are plastic sealed. Um, the there's a plastic seal that just normally it just opens up for the flip top. 
uh, so the flip top is open the rest of it has got this uh, um, colorful plastic seal on it um, if you seal if you uh, slice this down the side plastic comes off and exposes it exposes this top right here um, there's a latch system inside there so you have to squeeze the bottle slightly get underneath here with something to pry and uh, and then just ease that top off that was another thing I wanted to test if you if you pry that pry that apart and put it back together will it still will it still seal up and it seems to um, seems to handle that all right but uh, don't pry from the sides pry pry from right in the middle and uh, and these will come right off okay then